Hello YouTubers. Hey, I got some uh, tips for you on a snowblower on our Kubota. Something to look out for uh, just before the winter. So let's go have a look. This is our blow snower. I like to call them blow snowers. <laughs> anyway, there's a few things you should look out for on these things. For one thing, make sure they're greased. There's no such thing as over greasing them. They got grease point here, right there, then over here, on each side, one there, and then one there, okay. Once you get them greased, you need to concentrate on your uh, PTO shaft. The PTO shaft, if you look at it closely, you're going to see a grease nipple. It don't look like a grease nipple, but it is a grease nipple. It's on both sides. And what that is, it, that's a collar, a plastic collar inside. So this can spin back and forth. Now it's on a chain to keep it from completely going around. But if you're ever in your tractor and your blow snower starts to make a squealing noise, nine chances out of 10 is because these points have gone dry, so keep them greased. Now there's also grease nipples on the universal joints in there too that you, you should look after as well. Another thing to look out for on these is these pins for your three-point hitch. There's a big ugly nut on the inside. They can come loose. And if that comes loose and your blow snower twists, Eh, it won't be good. You're not going to have a good day. So make sure you check those regardless. Uh, the other thing is there's in here, Kathy, you have to come around here. This here is a plug. You move that plug, remove that plug, and you should see the oil right on the very top of the bottom thread. If you don't, top it up. If you haven't changed your oil, oil in a while, do so. You'll have to suck it out because there's no, with a, with a vacuum pump or something, because there's no drain on it. So that's another thing. Mine takes 80W90, so that's what I usually use. While you're there, make sure there's no oil around. If there's oil around it, then suspect the seal and replace the seal on that gearbox. But the most problems that I've ever had with this, and there hasn't been a lot, but face it, when are you going to have trouble with a snowblower? When you need the darn thing. So here's the problem. Keep this chain well oiled. And this sprocket is an idler. That's what keeps the tension on this chain. And you'd never believe it. Like these things, I'm to the point now where I'm changing them every year. Not well, every two years. If it's a real busy winter, for the sake of a few dollars, I'll put a new one on every year. So, I don't know if you can hear this, just listen. It's rough. That's the sign that it's, it's telling you, hey dad, I want to retire from this job. You need to get me, my younger brother in. So we always put a new one on, grease down the chain good, readjust it, the adjustment is here. There's a bolt here, and the nut is on the other side, and you just adjust it by sliding it up or down, whatever you need. Other than that, it's a very reliable system. It's, uh, it's never given us much trouble. Well, actually, not any trouble. This is just regular wear items. So, the pins, the grease, the gear oil, the idler, and then look after your PTO shaft. And you'll be blowing snow happily all winter. I hope this helps somebody out there. You take care. God bless.